Welcome to Unit 2 Vocabulary. Now let's start with the first word that we have here, which is excess. So excess means an amount that is more than acceptable or reasonable or um, expected. So for example, you can say an excess of enthusiasm is not always a good thing. Enthusiasm means like really, really excited, to be very excited about something. So if you are enthusiastic about uh, your coming vacation, so it means you are very excited about it. So excess here, uh, you can say they both eat to excess. So it means that they eat too much. Uh, so excess is a noun. So let's try to make a sentence. Can you try to make a sentence? I hope you did it well. Now let's go to the second word, which is uneventful. Uneventful. So you have this word as an adjective to describe a situation or uh, a time which nothing important happens. So you can say it was an uneventful journey or it was uneventful year, or how was your last week? It was uneventful. Word number three, which is lethal. Lethal, it's an adjective, and it means that uh, something that is very dangerous or it could lead to death. Uh, for example, uh, three minutes after the fire started, the house was full of lethal fumes like the smoke or the fumes coming out of the fire were deadly. Uh, you can say in the car, the police found guns, knives, and other lethal weapons. Weapons that could, you know, that could kill people, uh, dangerous weapons. Um, a 59-year-old man was executed by lethal injection. So having a poisonous sub substance put into his body. Or you can use it in a metaphorical way, you know, for example, that combination of tiredness and alcohol is lethal. It means that they have a very bad effect that could usually lead to death after uh, quite some time. Another word which is throw away, and here it's like one word without a space and it is used as an adjective. So it's not throw away, like a verb and then away, but no, we have it as one word, throw away. Like uh, if you want to say, uh, to describe something as an adjective and say, throw away cups and plates. So in my birthday party, we like to use throw away cups and plates. So this way we don't have to do the dishes. Uh, so that is throw away. Another word which is staggered, staggered. So staggered, very shocked or surprised. So I was staggered at the prices. I was staggered at the prices. It means I was really shocked and surprised. Pristine, pristine, it means in a very good condition or it's pretty new. So you can say that I'm going to sell my car. It's in pristine condition or um, we're moving to a pristine new office. Uh, I got this pristine new laptop. So it means it's like really new. Molding, uh, you know, if you look around your house, you might actually find that there are moldings around you. Uh, they are used for decoration or for, for protecting the wall. Uh, so they could be made of wood, plastic, stone, or any material. Dump or dumped. So if you're going to get rid of something that you don't want, um, so for example, you can say the tax was so unpopular that the government decided to dump it. Or when you hear in movies that someone dumped uh, his wife or her husband, so you can say that they got rid of them or they, you know, uh, they, are, uh, they are not with each other anymore. Uh, you can say there are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of trash uh, dumped in our sea nowadays uh, that we can use for recycling. Pellet, it's like any small material of any sub substance, whether it's for uh, wood, made of wood, plastic, wax, iron, paper, like in these pictures here. Nurdles are uh, the small, uh, you know, the, the material that is used for manufacturing um, the, the plastic uh, products that we use. And usually they, uh, they are thrown into the seas and they create a problem. Just like when you go and check the reading, you will find that um, nurdles create a, a big problem uh, when they are thrown into the sea. 
Biodegrade or biodegradable. Biodegradable is an adjective. Biodegrade is a verb. And biodegradable, uh, it means to decay naturally in a way that is not harmful to the environment. So, for example, you can say that I like to use biodegradable uh, bags instead of the plastic bags because the plastic bags will be uh, very bad for the environment. Or some plastics are designed to biodegrade when their useful life is over. Flex, a small mark or spot like here in these pictures or on the bird here. So you can say um, black birds eggs are pale blue with brown flecks on them. Or I got a few flecks of paint on the window or on the floor. Pounding, you know the like dudum 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 like the, the, the regular thumping sound of the heart. So you could say uh, she was so scared of her exam so that I could hear the pounding of her heart. A chill went down my spine or uh, sending chills down or up somebody's spine. You know, the spine is like the backbone, you know, in your back. So it means to make someone feel so scared or so frightened. So uh, his words sent a chill down her spine. It means that this is something that was really scary, maybe intimidating or threatening her. Or I saw this horror movie and it sent a chills down my spine. Soiling is to make something dirty, especially with solid uh, waste. For example, um, we need to change the, the sheets because they are soiled. So soil, soiled, okay, so soiled diapers, uh, soiled nappies, soiled sheets. Clogging. It means to block or fill something with with something else that would be uh, very difficult to move or to do a certain activity. For example, um, every year when it rains heavily, the water clogs the roads. So it means it blocks the roads. No car could move. The roads are clogged with holiday traffic. So clogging, you know, when you say uh, the bridge is clogged with traffic, so because in the same same blocked, you can say clogged. Sloshing. It's the movement of the water. If you can hear the movement of the water, you know, like shh, shh, you know. So I could hear you sloshing around in the bath. Or when you can say, uh, stop playing in the water, I could hear you sloshing around. Now get out now so you can study. Swamped. Swamp, so to cover a place with amount of water, a large amount of water, like you can say the boat was swamped by an enormous wave. Or you could also use it when you say that I'm swamped by a lot of study or a lot of assignments or a lot of emails. Debris. These are the broken pieces of something that is larger, you know, like uh, debris from the aircraft was scattered over a large sea or debris from the satellite. It means that the aircraft or the satellite, it was, uh, they were broken and now there are broken pieces from it. So instead of saying the broken pieces, you can say the debris. Swirl. Swirl is to move quickly in a twisting uh, circle. So you can say swirl a little oil around the frying pan. The fog swirled thickly around us. So swirl is to move around. Patch. So you can use it to mean a small area that is different from the areas around it. You know, like here, uh, he has patches on his jacket. Or you can say, our dog has a black patch on his back. The hotel walls were covered in damp patches. There were lots of icy patches on the road this morning. Gobble, gobble up to eat quickly, you know, like, um, now you have to stop uh, playing or fooling around and you gotta gobble up your food to go to school. You gotta gobble up your breakfast quickly so you can catch the school bus. So to gobble up, it means to eat a lot and too fast. Not healthy to do this. Culprit, it means, uh, you can say it as someone who has done something wrong, like for example, the police hope the public will help them to find the culprits. Or a fact or situation that is the reason for something bad, like children in this country are getting much too fat and sugar and sweets are the main culprits. It means that sugar and sweets are the main reasons behind this problem. 
spurn, it's a slightly formal, a verb, means to reject or to refuse to accept uh, the help of someone or to accept something because you think it's not worth it. So you can say, she spurned my offers of help. Or my manager re uh, spurned my proposal. It means that he rejected it. He didn't approve of it. Obscenity. It means that um, if you said that someone or something is obscene, uh, or it means that they are very offensive, they are very bad, because they include something uh, that is not good, like a bad word, a bad scene, a bad sentence. So you can say, the people who made that film could be prosecuted for obscenity. I'm sure you remember uh, productions, uh, production companies uh, in, in the country uh, that could do something like this, like bad movies. Or you can say, he was shouting and screaming obscenities. Such deliberate obstruction of the environment is an obscenity. It means it's a very offensive and shocking situation or event. Impose. So it means to officially force a rule, tax, or punishment on people in order to be obeyed. Very high taxes have recently been imposed on cigarettes. So people have to pay uh, more money for uh, when they buy the cigarettes. Um, or you can say, judges are imposing increasingly heavy fines for minor driving offenses. The council has imposed a ban on alcohol in the city parks. So it means to force someone to accept something, uh, whether it's a rule tax or punishment or an idea or a belief or a way of living. Like I don't want them to impose the religious beliefs on my children. Or we must impose some kind of order on the way this office is run. So you can say, you can say impose on. Stroll. It means to walk in a slow and relaxed manner, especially for pleasure, like we like to stroll in the morning. Or uh, we could stroll into town if you like.